Now, this, according to relatives, has troubled him ever since. And CNN has also discovered what police have. There was a Facebook posting made uh, just the other day written by the suspect in this case that police are examining, and it reads like this. Today is two years that my dad has been gone, shot by, and please excuse the language, it's very sensitive, shot by a fucking nigger. It's hard not to go off between that and Sharon. Sharon is, uh, we have to pause and say, is England's girlfriend who, according to family members, committed suicide in front of the suspect in this case uh, just last December, in front of him and in front of their uh, baby. Uh, the Facebook posting goes on to say, I'm gone in the head. Dad and Sharon, his girlfriend, I love and miss you. I think about you both every second of the day. Now, we have learned that this is something that police are taking a very close look at to see whether this might be a motive in this case, Fred. Okay, and, and then what happens, Susan, um, when, when trying to reach out to those who know uh, these gentlemen? Did any neighbors have anything to say about well, them? Yes, everyone is trying to make some sense of this. Uh, a woman who lives across the street who has known the family since they were children said that she can't get over what happened. She said that she heard some gunshots fired there the night of the shootings over at uh, the house where he was living and heard some disturbances the other night, but said she finds it hard to fathom this arrest. Listen. He's just a nice young man. I can't even imagine him in this. Now, drugs, yes, but a killer? I can't imagine it. Not Jake. Now, again, police are trying to figure out more about the suspect in this case. Certainly, the community is very relieved that two people have been arrested, and we expect a news conference in just a couple of hours. Fred? All right, Susan Candiotti in Tulsa. We apologize to our viewers for uh, such profanities being used on our air. And we'll be right back with much more in the newsroom.